Now, I've got Pete with me, um, you know, uh, to <laughs> we tried to do this last night. It didn't work out. Uh, so we owe our apologies to you guys. I know there's up to you about 24, yeah. 25 of you guys trying to jump on. And for some reason, I don't know what it is. The only thing I can think of is that we've been censored or something. We were being blocked one way or the other, because no matter what we did traditionally, because usually if anybody knows anything about broadcasting, they just get on their broadcast. They just put, OK, I can invite people. Let me go ahead and invite him. So on and so yep. forth. And the person gets the the invite and they go ahead and say yes. And they jump right on. Well, we've done everything we can possibly do. And somehow, some way it didn't work out. Um, he tried di- diligently to try to get on there, too. It would not work. Um, in fact, his fa- his name wasn't even there. I tried to put in Space Cadet. He wasn't even there, which makes no sense because every time I've done this, boom, Instamatic, boom, 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 and he was in and he was ready to rock. So, you know, I don't know what happened. I mean, uh, it's just, it's a little puzzling because, in fact, somebody said to me uh, last night, sent me a message saying, Chris, I don't know who you pissed off, but your, your video is corrupted. And it's a little odd that that's happened because that's never happened before. I mean, you have a little couple glitches in the beginning. Like, you're trying to make sure everybody's on board with you and get it started kicked off. I don't have a problem with that. But this, from from the word go, is absolute shit. And then um, a couple of people started asking a bunch of questions, you know, and I didn't have any problem answering them. And even Daz, the cameraman, got on. But what was really odd is that when he got on, this is when everything went chaotic from the very beginning. We couldn't hook up to the, Now, I'm not saying he was, in, he was the one that was uh, responsible for it. But it was just kind of, just really odd that all of a sudden he gets on there, <laughs> this thing. But anyway, I still answered the questions. Uh, he even gave me a challenge. Um, he challenged me and said, uh, I think it was, uh, what was his name? Um, uh, Astronomy Live. Um, if he can, can come on and we can talk about the raw photos and stuff like that, he's pretty good at it. I said, sure. You know, I, I don't have a problem with it. In fact, uh, Pete and I, we can be on there at the same time them two are on. I don't have a problem with that. Um, and I'm sure you don't have a problem with it either, Pete. Uh, the only no. problem with it is the only problem with it is it's just timing wise. That's all. I mean, that's that's what it comes down to. So uh, now that we've actually set our times back here in the uh, the United States, or at least for me, well, we all have. But um, right now, it should be about eight fifty two here, but it's not. It's seven fifty two. We actually gained an hour last night, so kind of throws things off. Now we're not fourteen hours apart. Now we're fifteen. So we got to be able to do this timing wise and get it just right, or else it's just not going to make it. But more than happy to do it with them. Um, with the both of them, don't have a problem with it. But here's the thing. I tried to explain to them last night that, you know, raw photos are one thing. These are not raw photos. They're JPEG. And even if you were to say, well, they, those are the raw photos, that's fine too. Um, a lot of people who try to claim that these are what we're seeing is not real, they try to use the, well, you're using the Photoshop wrong, so therefore you're not, yeah, you're not, uh, you're not seeing the things you're seeing. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. You can literally put this, don't do a thing to the photo, put it in raw plating, whether it be cyan, magenta, it doesn't really matter, uh, black plate, yellow plate, doesn't matter. And you can see these manipulations with ease. Not only that, and that's before doing anything to the, trying to enhance it, but not only that, it's also, um, I mean, it, just look at the photo, just look at it a bit close, like some of these rocks, and I don't mean so close that it's all pixelated and Com- seeing compression artifacts. I don't mean that way. I'm saying, let's say you see a group of rocks. you got one rock here and there's one behind it. But for some reason, on a lot of these photos, you can see the rock coming through just like that. Only it's... What's that, what's that tell you? Well, one, they're being put there. Because uh, I don't know about you. and Maybe maybe Mar- Mars has got some kind of uh, transparent rocks. <laughs> I mean, I mean... <laughs> and even that, if that doesn't sound retarded, nothing does. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> You know, even the people that are good at photography, they should be the first ones to back me in this. And anybody else who's doing this, including Pete. Um, you know, and Pete has been in lithographics. He's been into lithographics for how many long? For how long? How many years? You've been in for quite a few years. Well, here we go. Here we go. The internet just started going stupid. It said something about internet connection problem. See this? Here we go. What did I tell you? <laughs> This is what I'm talking about, see? Oh, this is retarded.
Let me see. You get back in there? Yeah. See what I mean? Now, what the hell is this all about? Yeah, I know. <laughs> See what I mean? Out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, this is retarded. What the hell I know. We have me, and that's without even putting any photographs to nothing. Yeah, I mean, what the hell? We've been monitored, Chris, definitely. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind. I mean, what the hell? I don't know why there's an extra box here all of a sudden. There shouldn't be. That might be a problem trying to show these pictures, but that's fine. Yeah, I mean, how does that happen? I mean, you know what I mean? It's like out of nowhere, just the call gets dropped. You know yeah. what I mean? But anyway, that's not going to stop us, guys. We're trying our best to get this information out, period. Um, so, again, our apologies for trying to... Uh, we did everything we could, to, to be honest with you. I mean, I mean, I, I was absolutely going mental last night. I was just like, I was fit to be tied. Um, but I said, well, we're going to try at it again. It was Pete's idea to try to get this back on for you guys. Uh, so we're trying this to, to knock it out. It's just about eight o'clock my time. And I know it's uh, pretty close to midnight where he's at. So we try to get on as soon as we can. Anyway, one of the major announcements we wanted to make was one, um, and I'll go ahead and show you my screen here with you guys. Um, let me do it this way. Uh, share screens. Um, let me see. Okay. One of the photos that I showed you guys was this one here. In fact, this is in my last video. Um, you know, more proof that Mount Shop uh, is, is a lie. And this is a perfect example of it. And I showed everybody what happens is when you try to, well, when you correct the fisheye lens, which I said I even asked, how is this suddenly the norm to see these fisheye lenses? But you can actually just straighten that back out. Now, whether it was intentional that these guys did this or not, well, I felt it's still try to correct it if we could. And things don't look as big and stretched out as, as it does now. And as you can see, if you were to, here's the normal picture, just correct it. Here's the original. Here's the corrected one. Well, there you go. So, but what I noticed in here was something that's pretty bizarre. I'm saying, okay, so we know the mountain is being faked. We know that there's layers of photo on top of the original photos. We know that for a fact. It states it. NASA even states it. It does what they call Z-stacking, and the rover's capable of doing this at itself. But what's really funny about this is when you have a close look at this photo, yeah, check this out, guys. Not only is some of the rocks transparent, but so is the rover. Imagine <laughs> that. Uh, let's have a look. Oh. Imagine that. Um, um, we, Mr. Mr. NASA graphics technicians, we would like an explanation of this. Yeah. I mean, let's do this. I'm going to brighten up that area right there. How is it possible that we're seeing... I'm going to go ahead and do this. Put this in uh, RGB mode, if I can. <laughs> okay. How is it possible that we can see this rock, or whatever this is supposed to be, Coming right through the wheel. How is that possible? You should not be able to see this at all. You should not be able to see it. And here's another question. What the hell is sticking through this wheel right here? It's got like a, <laughs> it's got like a hook right here. And it goes down like this. And it's literally torn the wheel. Here's the tear in it. So how is it possible? First of all, what the hell is that? And why is these wheels being transparent? My guess is, and you can see these two little brighter spots right here. My guess is they were trying to hide whatever's on this ground. Now, because here's, the, here's what's really odd. Just look at this picture the way it is. In fact, I can go back to the original. You can still see this thing peeking through. And of course, it's in gray, but that's fine. How is that possible? This thing's a poking right through the wheel. And yet, guess what? You can still see these pieces coming through the wheel. You should not see a transparent rover, guys. It's not going to happen. Okay, that's just the first photo. Now, and again, this was from, and you guys, what's going to happen is you're going to see this, it's, when you put it through Skype, it's degraded. The photos are totally degraded. So you will get these photos in my Google Plus, and you can analyze them yourself. So don't despair if you see, I'm not seeing it, the picture's so crappy. That's fine. Um, we'll get this thing straightened out. Here's another photo. And this one here, you guys have seen this before, not a big deal. Um, Get that out of there. 
Uh, we don't care. Uh, let me see. <coughs> Let's do it this way. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Let's zoom into this and check this out. Imagine that. Uh, let me go into, I'm going to just, we can go ahead and draw this out. And check this rock out. This top of this layered, this supposed layered rock, it goes right through the wheel. How is this possible? You can actually see this whole rock. Now, some of this is shadow, so you can't really go by this right here. It's going, it's literally coming through the wheel coming into here. So I get that. That makes sense to me. And you can see the angle of the sun because you can see the shadow of the wheel here. And here's your regular wheel. So, but you can clearly see this rock is also still going through this wheel. Yeah. But it gets, it gets better. It absolutely gets better. Now, this was great because, let me see if I can find this. Probably won't. <laughs> Okay, now Pete turned me on to this one, which I'm glad he did, because he says, you know what, I, what's really crazy is I found one that was in color. And I'm going, what do you mean, color? I said, well, that'd be great, show it to us. So this photo here, and I don't, is, we'll actually put the link to this too. If he's, now Pete, do you still have this one here? Yeah. Uh, you got the link to this one? Yeah. Okay, we'll put this underneath the video so people can get that as well. And we'll even put the enhanced photo up on the, um, up on my Google Plus as well. So, okay. When you look at the rover, you know, first of all, I thought it was kind of funny how it has the mass cam actually looking directly at itself, uh, which is fine because it's the uh, probably the Molly. I don't remember if this is the Molly cam looking right at the actual mass cam um, and part of the rover, as you can see. So I said, OK, so the more we get into this, guess what? More transparency, guys. Imagine that. So let's have a look right here at the harness. And I can see this without even doing a thing to this photo. I can see the rocks literally coming through this. <laughs> They're literally coming through this wire harness, and I haven't done a thing. There's a back rock right here going right through that, that wire harness. How is that possible? There's no reason in the world you should be able to see through this. Now, let's go ahead and have a good look at this thing. So I started getting into this, and what I did was I went to the cyan plate, and we'll check that out. How is there a rock? Well, we're going to have to do this in, well, shit. Yeah, I can see that, Chris. The rock you, is going straight through the... It's uh, literally going down. We're going to have to use it right here, going back up, going about, back around. All of these little rocks right here are simply going right through the wire harness. How is this possible, guys? Now, we looked at this, and we were just totally at awe, going, what the hell... How is this possible that it, we can see? It, you shouldn't see through a pitch or a rover. Here we go. Just keep going down, and I want to show you this gets better. That <laughs> these these rocks here actually go through and go in through the these. Look at this one here. At the end of this instrument, you've got rocks peeking through it. How is it, it again? I mean, look at this. Another rock, piece of rock right here, going right here, going through. Now let's keep going. Let's keep going through this. And I'm going to show you as we docking this up, and all we're doing is just, just using a little burn tool on the whole picture of the rover, and guess what? You can see these rocks plainly going right through this thing. So, here's the major question. The major question is, how is it, you know, is are they putting in this, this rover in after? If so, why would they do that? Um, are they trying to cover something in the photo? Why not just put something very large in the photo that will cover up something they don't... This is the way I look at it. If there's something in the photo that they're trying to hide and they go, oh, wait a minute, if we try to manipulate that thing, it's going to look so goofy in this photo that we clearly... People will see it with ease. So why yeah. don't we just throw the rover in this in this photo to cover it up? Yeah. Um, you got Look at this. This weird... I don't even think that's a rock, but anyway, it goes up like this, comes straight back down, but it's in the actual photo. It's it's in with the with the rover. You can see these other back rocks going like this, kind of like all this little tiny out rock, uh, this cropping right here. Um, here, check that out. Blatant as can be, coming right through. And it just gets better. I mean, this rock here, you can see how this one goes along, goes right in. But what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to actually, you can see right here where we've actually mocked it off. These rocks are simply going right through this. In fact, I'm going to back up, and you can see it right there. Look how plain as day. 
You couldn't get any more plainer if you wanted to. Right through this thing. And if you do, if you keep going with it, let me see here. I'm trying to figure out where the hell this is. Look at this crap. Now, why the hell would that be completely blurred out? <laughs> I mean, they just did a complete information. What's the term we want to use? Obfuscation. Yeah, we'll just go with the, the old obfuscation. That's all. That's the best way to describe it. Uh, so now as you kept, you keep going down, guess what? Again, look at all of these rock pieces. They go right into the rover. So, come on, guys. I mean, all the way through the wire harness. I mean, look at this one. Another rock. I didn't even mock this one off. Check this out. And that's exactly how that rock shaped, and it's going into the wire harness. How is this possible? So, the, so there's your, first of all, first off, right off the bat, that this is being faked. No doubt about it. Here's another rock way in the distance. You see it's whiter, and it's going right through half in and half out of this wire harness. Same thing with this background. This is completely fudged right here. You can see this right here going like this. Where they tried to... This is manipulation, all of this right here. And yet, it's going into... Or not really going into. The rover is being overlaid onto this actual photo. Now, I go... There's many questions that suddenly arise. Now, some people will say, Oh, well, that's because they're not on Mars. No, 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 no. On the contrary. I think it's more evident now that they are. That's all there is to it because what was in the only and here's the only thing that's making me say this and it, I, I'll keep saying it is because due to what I'm finding in these photos, not the lies, but what I'm uncovering, because if I didn't find anything and, and Pete and I have both said this, in fact, Pete said it best. If there was nothing in these photos but rocks to see, we wouldn't be doing these videos. And that's a fact. That's a straight up fact. So yeah. um, if all we did was like when we enhanced this and found nothing but rocks, guess what, guys? I wouldn't be doing these videos. Uh, I don't need, you know, when I monetize my videos, I don't need the money that bad. And I'll trust, just trust me on this. It's not what you think it is. You know, it's not like I'm driving around in a Mercedes Benz. I can promise you that. Um, and here's another thing in the background. I decided to do the background here. And what the hell is all this here? Looks like an arch piece. And there's a bunch of little pieces up inside this. And you're going to see this more and more when I docking this up. You can start to see, even though it's darker, you can start to see these little pieces all popping out. Check this out. Looks like a rounded, brighter piece. There's a bunch of small little intricate details, like this piece right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like a circle. When I circle that, there's like a little tiny circle and a docker circle. Perfect. And you've got this piece right here. I don't know what the hell does that in nature. I'm, now, I'm not saying these kind of shapes couldn't exist. Of course they can. But that's just a little odd. Check this out. This goes straight. Goes like this. You can see something going like this. And then there's another piece going out. I mean, come. Yeah. I mean, they're being these things are being layered. And I've been saying this for a long time. Um, and there's going to be more of this coming out, guys. You're going to see me. We're also going to be going on the UFA team um, with a bunch of the guys and ladies. Or lady, I believe. That we're going to show more of these lies that these, that these people are just doing. I mean, there's no reason in the world you should see through this rover, period. So, in fact, I'm looking right here, and I can just look at this whole area right here. This is, this is just crazy. Just by backing up, you can see all of this rock, or whatever the hell this is, clearly going through this rover. But there's yep. something right there. I don't know if you can see that. That's kind of funky, too. I just noticed this. If I go in too far, though, it may actually destroy, mess this up. But there's something doing this long, kind of stretched-out U-type thing. But anyway, you can see there's rocks. Bits and pieces of these rocks literally going like this. <laughs> no way, guys. It's not going to happen. So that right off the bat is puzzling to me. Um, and all you got to do is just go like this, guys. Watch this. Let's go to the... I'm not going to do anything in this photo. This is the original photo right there. And, you know, this is for anybody like Daz or the cameraman. Uh, all of these people who doubt it. And I don't mean in a mean way that you doubt it. I mean, like... You're inquisitive. You want to know. Well, how is this? Uh, this thing can't possibly be fake. Um, don't do a thing to the photo. Just go into the proof setup and just go into, like, cyan plate. Look at it. You can see the areas that have been completely trashed. All this area is completely trashed. A lot of it's been obfuscated and, and, and manipulated. And you can see this thing without doing a bloody thing to this photo. You can see the rocks literally coming through it all right in here. You can see this right here. You can see rocks... Right here, this one here, going right through the, through this thing. Look at this. This one up here. 
Not doing a thing to the photo, guys. And he claimed, that, well, a lot of people, if they use Photoshop, they can bring things out. I'm not using Photoshop. I put it into Photoshop, but I haven't done a thing to it. I simply am into the raw parts of the photo, and there you go. I mean, you don't need to even be an Einstein to figure this out. Look at this. Something going into here, and something, I don't know what the hell the way that's shaped, but regardless. Uh, but yeah, so pretty interesting stuff, guys. You can check this out yourselves. Uh, you get the links to this, of course. Um, let me do this. Let me jump back out of this. Uh, let me. Whoop. So what I'm going to do now, we lost your picture there, uh, Pete. I don't know what happened there. I'm going to jump back out of this. Now I want to let Pete, if he's got his picture there. Huh. See if we can get him back in there. Yep. That was weird because my lamp was on, yet it's gone off again. <laughs> and now it's gone on again. Aha! This is very suspicious. Yeah, oh, well, um, this is another picture of the rover again. Uh, I'll, um, I'll share my screen if we, um, if I can. Um, and I'll take through another image of the rover. The, the, uh, the parts in the background coming into the rover aren't quite as obvious in this, but this is the photograph here. Um, I'm in CMY camera, so I'll go to the cyan, alter the levels. And keep in mind, guys, this is just minimal. We're just doing minimal work to this, you can pull this out. I mean, and again, what we'll do is when he, when he, when he does his finished product, what, he, what he's going to show you, we'll take a snap of that, a screenshot, and we'll put it in the Google Plus so you guys will have it as well. So here we have supposedly... Let's go back to this. Here, we have the edge of the, supposedly the edge of the um, rover machine. And yet, if we look in this area, once again, the rock detail merges actually in to I the structure. Right in that darkest area, right where that round piece is at the top. Yep, yeah, and... Down here, we'll have it coming into the rover again. If you doubt what I'm saying, this is supposed to be the rover machine here. And yet, we can clearly see background image of the rock detail flashing again through the structure of the rover machine. Now, I th I, I've mentioned this to Chris in this area here too. I think you can see how it's coming in. That's shadow there. This is where the rover is, the edge of the um, arm of the, of the device there. If we have a look at the... Yeah, you can see it going right through it. Even at that, I think you had it in the magenta, you can see it right through it. Right yeah. there. The, you can see where it's actually been manipulated. That arm, it looks kind of false, but you can see in the very edge of that, you can see what looks like. Adjust the levels again. Yep. Yeah. I think we can see down here, there's been manipulation here going on. Uh, I mean, this is really, when I, when I see blocking like this occurring in, in the image, there's, there's definitely some obscuring of detail has occurred here. We're talking about a camera which has over 1,700 pixels and has the capability of producing a far more detailed image than the one that we're being presented with. Well, and here's the thing. You know, uh, I'll throw this in real quick. Most people would say, well, because they compressed it for whatever reason... This is the reason why they look this shitty. Okay, it still does not explain why you can see through that rover. I don't care how shitty it is. I don't care how shitty the re resolution is. You should not see through a solid item. No. Period. 
I mean, I don't know of anything. Unless you're Superman and can, you got x-ray vision, there's no reason why you should be able to see through this rover at all. It's wheels, the body of it, the wire harness. You shouldn't see through any of it. I mean, it's not like it's like on the edge, you know, we could just barely see. It's literally through this rover, like what I showed you earlier. And this one's another good example. Okay, this, this beam going across here, we have a structure going across here, this bar here. So if we have a look at the cyan plate, again, once again, yeah, we can, can see that rock, that big flat area going right through it. <laughs> to the right here, you can see the <coughs> image which is continuing actually into the structure of the rover. Yep. Here, this strut here is supposed to be a solid strut from the rover. Yet we can see image detail of the background going through what's supposed to be a solid object. Yep. And like I said, I apologize, guys, because this is not going to be the best. Every time you share anything on Skype, you get picture deg photo degradation right off the bat. So uh, you will get these photos. And like I said, what he's showing you now, what we'll do is we'll take a screenshot and you'll get these photos. So <laughs> we might end up with tons of photos up on this thing by the time it's all said and done. But that's okay. Because we want you guys to be able to see this for yourselves. And what we'll do is we'll, at least, I think you get the picture link to, uh, or the photo link to the one I showed. I don't know if you have this one as well. But if you do, we'll try to get these on there so people can get the original and throw it into Photoshop themselves. And don't do a thing to it. I mean, you can see what he did. He did minimal work to it. And there it was. Um, you know, most people don't look at a photo and go, well, let me just try it in a different raw plate. Nobody does that. Um, and my point yesterday to Dazza the cameraman was simply this. If you were to ask your average friends, and I don't mean your scientific friends, I mean your average friends, hey, what do you think about the MSL? What would they say? They're going to go, what the hell's an MSL? Well, that's a Mars Science Laboratory. W what's that? Well, you know, the Curiosity Rover. They won't freaking know what it is. They don't know. So they're hoping that these people are dumbed down and don't look into <coughs> these photos. Because to be honest with you, had this been about, I don't know, many years back, before I actually, well, because I was actually looking at these photos before I started doing videos. But let's say in the very beginning before I started tearing these things apart and I said, oh, wow, I wouldn't think nothing. I said, well, there's a rover right there and all its glory and all the rocks and everything. I wouldn't think nothing of it. I'd just be like, wow, that's just fascinating. That's just awesome to see, you know, a rover on another planet. And that's the way I'd be. I mean, there's no way around it. But when, when you start being critical and try checking these things out, you don't have to do very much work at all. You know, people claim, you know, well, you're using Photoshop, so right off the bat, it's bull. No, no. This is how you break through the levels of manipulation on these photos. So it's it's absolutely, uh, you know, you, you got to, it's, you know, you got to use it uh, to actually see these levels. And again, they call it Z-stacking. That's what the rover itself does this. Yeah, I, I, um, I know it's, it's, it's very difficult uh, for people to un con try and understand what Chris and I are saying with regard to um, the photographic manipulation has occurred unless you have got a background or have trained, tried to analyze the complexity involved in forensically analyzing um, photographic structure. And I would like to stress again that the reason why we're able to examine the actual photograph is because in Photoshop we can put the photo into CMYK mode. In that way, in that mode, you are actually looking at, at the true photograph that would be used to make a print, a physical print. Mm -hmm. um, in RGB mode, the standard mode for viewing pictures and images on your monitor, you cannot see the changes that have been made to the photographic image because these are all incorporated in to the broadcasted image as true photograph. But this isn't the case, as you will see when you examine these photographs in CMYK mode. Yeah. Um, and as I said, it's not only have we got the fact that there's obfuscation going on in the photographs, your visual perception and the way that the objects in the photograph appear to flow is also tampered with. Yeah. Yep. This, you know, at first I thought it was just a simple manipulation. I really did. 
But as you, the more you get into these photos and learn and learn and more and more of what they're doing, and here's the thing, what got me really going was NASA's own information. And the information, in fact, I'll give you the links if you guys are not aware of this, I'll give you the links also in the video about, if I can remember this, I'm hoping, and you guys can remind me if I don't put this on there, the links to the technical parts of these cameras that this, because I still have them on, on my, uh, uh, in fact, I think I put it on, I'm trying to remember if it was that last video or the one prior to that, um, or the one that you and I talked about the technical parts of the camera. You can actually go back to that. It was another Skype yeah. session you and I did. You guys yeah. can go back to that one. And I cover all of the th stuff that NASA has on their own page, and it was in 2012 before the rover actually got to Mars. So you can see the cam cameras, what they're capable of, so on and so forth. You should not see this kind of garbage in these photos. No. You should not see a compromised picture. I'm sorry. It doesn't make sense. Now, people can argue the point, you know, about using Photoshop. People can argue about, well, you don't understand the photos too well. I think we do by now. And, you know, of all people, you know, it's like, you know, if you've been studying this long enough, it's not like I'm trying to prove NASA wrong. I'm proving them wrong because it's because of themselves. They're the ones that's making their own mistakes. The only thing difference we're doing is we're actually, okay, let's look at the technical parts of the camera. Then let's look at the photos. It doesn't jive. It simply doesn't jive. You can compress a photo all you want, but if it's a high-definition photo, first of all, why would you compress it? But let's say for argument's sake, it's because of, uh, well, they're high-definition, so we had to compress it. Had to compress it from the curiosity, and then it's almost like, if you think about it, like putting in a zip folder or something. You know, you compress it into a zip folder, then send it back to Earth. They can unzip it. They can uncompress this thing. So you're telling me that these photos should be that shit poor, that piss poor? I don't know. Um... I mean, I don't know what you, you know, what's your views on that? I mean, do you think that's what they probably could do? Or, um, I don't believe there should that be that piss poor resolution, to be honest with you. Well, uh, I question why, first of all, these images are called raw images when they are not raw images. A raw image from a camera is a huge file because it's full of detail. It's full of all the photographic detail. Yep. So, so to call them raw images is very misleading to begin with. And secondly, the quality of them is only 70%. Yeah. Now, you can argue that it, it makes the photographs quicker to download, but on the high-definition panoramic images, all the, all the high-res images, which are supposed to be the super-duper ones, they're yeah. still of very, very low quality. And yeah. whenever you go in to examine detail in those photographs, it's blurred. There is well, no sharp definition. I can I can actually state that I've taken a photo with my camera, and like I said, I put it at um, I think it, I put it at the lowest setting, which is uh, one meg. And and like I said, when I put it in photo forensics, it was less than a meg. It showed like nine sixty kilobytes or something, nine hundred sixty three or something. So it was less than a meg. And what was funny about it is. When I put it in there, it only showed 95%. So to be on all fairness, okay, but 20, what are you talking, uh, 90, what, 26% less quality when it's supposed to be high definition, super high definition? Doesn't make sense. I mean, yeah, something doesn't jive. It shouldn't be like that. You know, he stated, you know, a couple of people stated, well, Dazza did. He said, uh, well, I've seen plenty of high definition photos of, uh, you know, satellite photos. Believe it or not, and I've said this, the photos are real. And that's for the record. Their photos are real. However, they're taking information out of some of them. They're layering them. So you got the original here and then multiple ones on top. And they call it Z stacking so that when you look at the photo, every part of that photo is completely focused. Now, again, my theory was I, I don't know why if I'm if I'm the team, the curiosity team, and I'm focused on an outcropping because I want to show people, hey, wow, this is where ro water... Uh, uh, was actually flowing at one point, and I could show like layered rock or rock sediment, whatever it may be. Why would it matter if I could see the background? It makes no sense. So the, they're using this, you know, well, if the right corner is not focused, we'll take that same picture over and over and over again with different focusing. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll focus the lens in and we'll get it completely perfect. Or they're taking this the, these layers and they're actually manipulating each one of them. Then they're stacking them on top of the original. This is the reason why you can burn through some pots, which I stated last night, 
You can burn through some parts, and some parts of the photo you cannot. Why would that be? Well, because there's obviously something there that has been covered up, and they clearly don't want you to see it. Now, um, I had to get rid of those all these videos, guys, because they were just completely corrupt. I mean, uh, certain parts, they worked fine, and people could see me fine, and then parts you couldn't see me. So I just totally got rid of them all, and I said, we're going to go ahead and do a Skype so one way or the other, we'll get the information out to you guys. So that's the reason why you don't see these videos. I totally took them off. There's no point in having a half ass video. I couldn't see it. Didn't make sense. And that's not very, I'm not a professional to begin with, but it doesn't, doesn't look any better. It doesn't look professional at all. So I decided to get rid of it. Um, so anyway, what else you got to add to that as far as any kind of, because I know there was something you wanted to say because you couldn't get on. You, I guess when Daz uh, said something about uh, these space agencies, you know, why would they lie or something along them lines, he was saying. And yeah, there's, there's a couple like of issues, a couple of issues which he raised, and that one was why would the agency post so many thousand images on the internet um, with the knowledge that the images weren't correct, and these, and that they could be challenged um, uh, with regard to the authenticity. The thing is. It appears to me that if anybody is actually going to charge, um, actually take an action against NASA um, on the charge that the photographs are manip being manipulated, they would have to have millions and millions of dollars to take yeah. the court case up. Oh, yeah. The average and, school like and, you and I could never do and, it. And yeah, yeah, that that individual would be going against the accepted versions of uh, s scientific studies so far already conducted on Mars. Even if that scientific study has been corrupted by false information and false images. Um. In addition, with regard to the question as to who will be making the decision that these photographs are um, manipulated and the truth is being withheld, I would suggest that it's the military organizations throughout the world of wherever the um, United Space Agencies are working together. That the military will be sitting and being advised on all discoveries and all progress. Yep. And uh, certain things are allowed to be released, and certain things are not allowed to be released. Yep. Well, I, I don't think I don't I don't I, I don't see um, NASA might claim that they are um, being able to release all the information that they have. I, I don't accept that. With another gross number of cameras on the rover, photographs of which we're not allowed to see. Mm -hmm. There are yep. satellite image, close-up images of the rover in situ on the ground, uh, which we can't see. Yeah. Well, the irony was that I had one guy ask me, and you know, the reason why I'm going over these questions is because obviously these videos are no longer posted, or the live uh, Google Plus uh, videos. One guy asked me, Hey, is the is the rover? After I stated, you know, what the cameras are capable of, he asked me, "Is it capable of taking video?" Absolutely. It's it states it on their site. It's it's capable of high definition video yeah. as yeah. well as photos. Has anybody ever seen a live video? No, no, I've only seen compilation of still photographs. Right, and that's what they do. It is, and that's all they're doing. It's not live video. And you can claim, well, it's because it's, you know, it's it's the data and it makes it skip like that. Oh, bullshit. Come on now. You can tell a free-flowing video and you can tell when it's crap. But regardless, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, haven't seen one. Haven't seen a, a, a real high-def photo. I mean, they look good. Don't get me wrong. A lot of these photos look fantastic. Like they are, in fact, uh, really super clear until you get into them. And I don't mean so far that you start seeing, you know, artifacts and, you know, compression. I don't mean that kind of way. I mean just zoom in just a little bit. Suddenly, the photo goes really bad in a hurry. So, you know, yeah. and no, I like uh, I, I, it'd be, it, I, I wish people would go to the um, website that shows the current position of the rover and have a look there and have a look at the detail of the ground where the rover is and then transfer over to the peak of Mount Sharp and see how poor or piss poor the image detail is there. You try and hone in and look at the detail of Not Mount Sharp. 
You nope. can't do it. Nope. Not going to happen. And here's the thing, too. It was weird that I asked this question to Daz. I said, well, let me ask you a question, seeing you asked me a couple questions. Now, just for the record, I'm not beating up Daz. I'm just saying that it was just coincidental how he was there and everything went haywire. That doesn't mean anything. I'm not implying anything. But what's funny about it is when I asked him, you know, because he said something about uh, it would be funny if we had a couple flat earthers on here. That would be, you know, and he put LOLs. Um, and I said, I said, oh, we're not even going to get into all that. It's not going to happen. But I said, but now that you mention it, and along them lines, I said this, I said, Hey, let me ask you a question. Um, you know, a lot of flat earthers, have a, they make a great point. And the point is, why don't they have forward-facing cameras on a rocket that's going leaving Earth and going out into space? Why don't we ever see those? That's a valid question. Now, and I think it's an important question. You always have a, a rear-facing, uh, you know, photo where you can actually see them discharge the actual, un, well, the used-up rockets, the sections. You can see them blowing off and going falling back to Earth, which is fine. But you never see a front-facing uh, camera going out into space. And then all of a sudden it shows it. All of a sudden it's CGI. Well, I think it's because of military. Meaning, you know, back in the 1980s they had the Star Wars program. Supposedly there's supposed to be either missiles like on a satellite or lasers or some goofy thing. Supposed to be, they were supposed to be actually making these for outer space. Now, how do we know what's sitting around this planet? If they were to show out what's out in space and they showed one of these space defense uh, satellites or whatever they may be, whatever they call them, mm. isn't that kind of like a, a breach of security? Yeah, good point. So I don't think I don't think that's the reason. So I don't know about I don't know if I'd go as far as saying, well, there's motherships out there sitting there watching the planet, because it seems a little more over the edge sci-fi. But that may be the simple reason why, or is there more to it? People can answer that question for me. I don't have a problem, but I wanted him to answer it, and everything went totally haywire. haywire. <laughs> He said, well, I can't. I, apparently, the, the audio and the, the pitches went off, so I guess I'll just end it right here for now. And off everybody went, and this thing totally crashed. So I'm thinking to myself, that's really freaking bizarre to me. This has never happened in a million years. Now, nah. people did start getting on there asking questions, and I was answering them and so on and so forth to see if, you know, while you were trying to do what you can to get on, and everything just went to hell in a handbasket. And I'm thinking to myself, come on. This has never, ever happened before in a million years. Suddenly now... We couldn't make the connection to save our lives. Yeah. So Pete and I decided, well, these people deserve it because we said there would be a major announcement. And the major announcement was, so far, was that the, uh, and we have more parts of this, it's not the Mars, um, but we got a transparent rover now, which is just really <laughs> odd. So now, and you got to ask yourself this question, guys, because me and him, uh, you know, Pete and I actually said this. We went, what does this imply now? Did they put the rover in after... And if they did, why? Because yeah. if it's in the photo to begin with, the actual photo, the real photo, even if they layered the photo, if the, the, the Curiosity rover was in the original, why is it transparent? It's almost yeah. like it was layered in. Yeah. So if it's being layered in, what's it hiding behind the rover? <laughs> and why would they feel the need to do this? And, I'll, you know, you guys are more than welcome. To, you know, listen, you guys know that. Comment on there. Tell me what you think could be the reason. It's clear that this thing's being superimposed or put on one of these layers. For what reason? Why are they doing it? Mm. But it's only uncertain. It's not. I, we're, we're not saying this is the same for every Correct. photograph. Correct. It's not on every single one, so we're not saying that. But I'll guarantee, just like these, and, and I and I showed it because one of the ones was that one I just did about you know more uh, proof that Mount Shop is, is is a lie. Again, and the same question goes. And I asked this last night. Since when has the fish-eyed lens become the norm? When you see these up-close pictures of these little areas, these little... Why is that the norm? Well, because think about it. Uh, again, if you if you go back to my video, you can watch it because I won't go into it too much right now. But if you look at that where it showed what looked like Mount Shop, which doesn't make any sense because the, 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 uh, the photos of late, it shows the whole stretched-out area of the southeastern part of um, Mount Shop. It's all laid out. But wait a minute. That photo I showed, which is from NASA, it looks like it's far off. Well, what gives? They're either there or they're not. So my question is, was that the real mountain? And I, and I say, no, it's not. If you correct the lens, whether they did this intentionally or the camera took this naturally, is immaterial. Once you straighten it out, suddenly that mountain doesn't look stretched out way off to the left and looks very large. It doesn't look that way. Now suddenly everything looks normal. And that thing is not as big as you think. And once I burned through that crap, suddenly some kind of weird structural looking thing came out. What it is, couldn't tell you. Now, he claimed last night, he said, well, Chris, I believe it's a bunch of pareidolia. 
And I said, no, because if I don't know what it is, how can it be possibly pareidolia? I said, I only, I only say what I think it may be. Well, and then he said, well, how do you know what it is if you don't know what it is? So I guess technically he's correct. It is a form of pareidolia. But I said, it looks structural. It looks like a structure. I'm not saying it is. I'm saying it looks like one. So you got to, there's a fine line between that. And I just said, well, you know, uh, how do you explain it then? What is it? It's clearly not a rock. And it's clearly not as far off as they claim it is with these little fisheye lens, freaky little bullshit photos they like to... I mean, am I wrong? Is there any reason why they should be using a fisheye lens in these? For what purpose? I've, I've, I'm stumped for... I, I, don't, I don't like those fisheye photograph lenses. I think they were originally brought in for a gimmick. I don't see them having a, a purpose in a scientific... Um, Recording, yeah, of detail. I don't see the logic. It's all distorted. Yeah, because listen, if you take something like this and go like this, suddenly that mountain that's over here stretches out, making it look larger. That's not right. So people looking, oh yeah, look at this mount shop in the background. No, no. Since when is the curvature of a photo become the norm? It shouldn't be like that. It should be straightened back out. So now that mountain that's super stretched out suddenly becomes, whoop, it's str- it's smaller. It's not as big as everybody think it is. And then when you go through the layer of bullshit that's over this mountain or this so-called mountain, suddenly there's something behind it. And I've always said this. It's a template. They take that particular photo of a, of this mount shop and they drop it over whatever they're trying to hide. And I think that's a perfect example of my last in my last video. So you guys make your own decisions. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Now, we're going to move on to... Yeah, I guys... think actually, Chris, I think you should do your uh, moonshots because we've gone about an hour and a half now. And I'll I'll, I'll put mine, the, the other, I wasn't going to do much, so I'll put, that in, I'll put that in another video later. Well, I mean, we can show them quickly, but because we don't have that many at all. In fact, we're going to concentrate on just one photo, maybe two. I want to show you guys real quick that if you go to, it's been announced that they released 8,412 photos of the Apollo missions and, and the moon missions themselves. Um, and, you know, the uh, uh, the capsule out in space, you know, looking at Earth, so on and so forth. What's funny about it, people go, they're supposed to be unmolested photos. They're not. In fact, they're washed. They're, you know, no depth, no nothing to these. So they're just simply not there. Well, let's do this. I'm going to show you guys. Let me just find this first. And, well, I got it in. That's right, too. I got it over here, I believe. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm just going to do that. Okay. This will be, I think this was, and I'm going to check this right now. This is a, a, a well, you guys can actually see that because you'll see it on my recording. Um, but let me go ahead and share the screen anyway. Let's make it. Yeah, r- yeah share your screen, Chris. All right, let me do this. Okay. This way he'll, he'll be able to see it as well. Okay, this is the Apollo 10 photo, and as you can see, it's got some detail to it. It's not bad at all. Um, what I also did, too, is I actually stretched the photo out a little bit, so it gives you this more of you're going down and then looking at it at an angle. But you can see right here, I've got both. I've got this one here, and I've got others to show you this. Let me do this. Um, this is one that I zoomed into, but let's do the one that's right here. This is the original. Only this time it's been, you know, enhanced. Um, And if you look at these photos, and you're not going to see them very clear in this, so that's why I said I'm going to leave, I'm going to go ahead and leave these on the, my Google Plus, so you get a better idea what these things are. Look at all down here. There's got these weird looking, smooth, I'm going to call them rectangular with these black dots on. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you've got these almost round platforms, what looks like domes or balls on them. I don't know what the hell they are. There's another one here. They're all over the place, but what really intrigued me was this thing here. This was in, this was insane. It's almost like a ring, almost like a 90% ring type feature, and it has this round piece on it. Looks like some kind of a ball or something, or some kind of weird round feature to it. And this stuff is all over the place, guys. This is not just one area. This is everywhere. Now, I do have a couple of these right here, and you can start to see in the bottom... All of these little things starting to come out. Now, these I put filters in these to try to bring these out a little bit. And you can start to see these other pieces just showing right there. All of these little pieces. In there. And you can see that they're put there. It's like they're designed. They're not just 
random. They're not craters. That's a fact. They're definitely not craters. No. Um, Those are structures. Now, when I zoom in, this was a zoomed in one. Now you can see this much better. You can see these right here on the right-hand side, how they're put together. There's like little 90-degree angles. There's different. See how this has this rectangular piece with these little dots in the middle of them, like darker areas and dots. Here's that other piece, 90 degree. Look at that. And you look, there's actually features to this. It goes up, over, down, up, over, and it has these weird designs, but it has that weird round piece with a brighter piece. And look at the way that goes up. That doesn't look like it's natural to me. And it goes around like that there. But here's those other platforms to the left of this capsule. And you can see they have like a dome or ball on the side of them. And here's another at the bottom. They're flat and have these weird ball or dome things. These are not craters, guys. And you can see like an out, like an outer piece of this right here going around this. But this stuff is everywhere. Here's another piece that's goofy. And you can't see it too well in this one. But how about this at the top? Top right. This is off the ground. There's the ground right there underneath. That's not even on the ground. And if you look, you can see many, many structures. And is what looks like a tower or something sticking up here. You can't see it that good right now, but you will. That's just... Let me see if I can find that other one. Now, what I do is I stretch this thing out to get looked like a lower area. And you can see now in the lower right, you can see these little features that 90... I'm going to call it a 90 or 80% ring type feature. And again, you can see it going up, over, and has an angle to it and goes around. And then you can see the rest of these. I don't want to go in too far because I want to try to keep as much as I can quality. It's bad enough Skype sucks as far as showing any quality. But again, you guys will get these photos. Um, just look around. Take your, take your magnifiers, guys. Just take a magnifying glass. Just look at these photos. Any, especially this right lower right. There's just no way that shit's that's natural. There's no way. Now, let me see if there's another one if I missed anything. Well, this has been with the filters and lowered. But see now, you can see what looks like a little tower right there. And then if you look, there's a bunch of little things right here. All stacked up to something right here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And like I said, now you can see what looks like that tower piece right there. Now we're back to normal photo. You can see what looks... And there's a light at the top. I don't think they're lights, guys. I think what they do is they try to put these little dots, these bright dots, and anything that has any kind of height to it. And trying to hide this stuff. So what I do is black and white. Different ways of actually... And again, the lower right here. These little pieces right here on both sides of this antenna. You can see. And just to the right of the thrusters. The roll thrusters of this capsule. You can see that ring. There's a bunch of things in here, guys. This is not the... <laughs> this is not the... You can see that intelligently put there. Just the way they look. And again, there's that photo again. Right there. And you guys will get all of these. You have to dig into these photos. I think I've got another one here. Um, where are these here? I don't know if it was the 8 or the... Let me see if I can find these here. This one here was really obscure. This one here was Apollo 8. And it was so dark that you couldn't see squat. Um, so I did my best to lighten this stuff up. And it's got some crazy things. Like this round, bright platform with something on the top. There's another one here with a bunch of stuff all over it. I don't know, but you look at all these little oval pieces with these what look like ball type things on the top of them. Again, another one right here. And again, you guys will get these photos. I'll make sure you p I put them in there. Um, so basically, we're going to have 185 photos up there. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but this was so obscure, you couldn't see anything. But bringing this back out, and I put this, I think I put this in like a, uh, the black plate and brought this up and cut through the BS. And you can see what looks like a bunch of these little oval-shaped areas with balls and dock areas on them. What the hell? I mean, this was another one that shows like what looks like things traveling over the surface and has a shadow underneath it. People have seen this before. Now, I don't know. You go, well, it's probably like a wispy... Because uh, it kind of looks like this one here. It looks like it's kind of like a, a little a smooth ridge, if you will. So it kind of looks like that. But this one here, not so much. And it travels right over this right here and keeps going. So I don't know. I mean, crazy stuff here, guys. And I think I've... This is another section of it, I think, because I'd done this one so long ago, so I don't know. We don't really care about that then. Um, but, yeah, I mean, crazy stuff, guys. Um, did, so did you want to share anything, uh, Pete? Or Well, um, what we could do is... Uh, yes. 
I'm going to stop sharing my screen. I'll get rid of You can see all of these. Oh, see if I can bring my... Um... Let me do one more thing before you, before you kick yours. Let me do this. Now, when you look at these on the right lower right corner, you see these what look like smooth, like I said, smooth rectangular items with these black dots. Have we seen these before? Yes, we have. And here's another thing I just noticed I just by looking at this. This squared bright piece with something standing up off of it. Just grab your magnifying glass. You guys will have a blast with this thing. Have we seen this before, these types of smooth areas with these little round dots? Yes, we have. And here they are. This is on Dion, Saturn's moon. One of Saturn's moon. Check this out. Smooth, darker areas. Smooth, darker areas. So what's that tell you guys? That whatever was on the moon may have been all over this uh, uh, this solar system. Because why the hell would these things be here? And you can see them squared off of here at the top with these little pieces on them. All of them, they look like these little flat platforms with darker areas on them. So, yeah, I mean, the black and white went back again. Some people can see it better through the black and white. Some people see it better with the filtered. So I figured I'd do that. So I just wanted to add that. It's kind of odd how you're seeing that there. And then when you look at this one here, you can see what looks like almost the same exact features. Just something to ponder. I mean, you guys can give me your thoughts on that as well. Um, let me hop back off of this. In case uh, Pete's set up and ready to go. Okay, I'm off mine. Well, I'm going to be looking at... Um I believe you had the same photo, right? Or did you have a different one as well? I, I've had the uh, I had a, I had the satellite image, but it's um, more or less the same as yours. And um, I was going to agree with you that there's something weird going on as far as the structures are concerned. Um, the image that I was going to look at was um, this one, and I'll share my share my screen when I can find it. <laughs> Too many pages open at the moment. <laughs> you sound like me. I'm like, all right, where the hell am I? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. you can just go up to your call area. Just go up to the call and drop that down. All right. All right, screen's popping in now. Okay, so this is the, uh, the image. And it's the Apollo, I think it's a Apollo 11 mission. I That's believe it, it is. Um, approaching some weird structure in front. Now, I don't know how I got the impression that the lunar surface would be craggy and sort of mountainous and um, massive big sort of craters all over the place, but um, when I saw this image, it completely blew me away as to uh, what a lunar surface might look like. Um, in particular, when I enhanced it, oh, sorry about this, folks. Um, Yeah, this was the image that I got. Um, so this is a 200%. Um, and we can see in this image here, this is how I've put the different effects on to try and examine the um, structures that's, that's in the ground and in the land. We can see over in this part of the photograph, there's definite structures going on in the base of this hill, which is in front of the rover. Mm-hmm. And also, in, you might not be able to pick it up, but in this area here, there's structures again at the base of the 
mound. Yep. And over in yeah, this we've area at, we've, here. We've looked at this photo extensively, and I'm glad you brought that up because I still got that one there too. We can show quickly. Yeah. But one thing I noticed, if you back out of that photo, and look where the rover is, or well, the buggy, I should say, the moon buggy, the ground is not as flat as you everybody believes it is. It really is not. And no, there are structures ridges. all over that. Yeah, they've got ridges and um, there's definite structures underneath where the road yep. is traveling. Yep. In fact, Chris, I think you've got a you've got an extended version of this photograph which shows more of the horizon to the right of my photograph here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I, I, I think we can clearly see it's not... Um, I'm at 200% magnification. Where my magnifier is, there's, there's a definite structure or combination of structures on this horizon at the side yeah. of the picture. You know, and, and this is another thing I want to uh, reiterate. And let me ask you guys a question. And Pete, this goes for you too, because I think I've discussed this with you too. When you look at that mountain in the background, what does that look like? Kind of looks like a mount shop. <laughs> the way they put it, all whitened out. In these photos, in the Martian photos, it looks just like that, only they have a different, you know, little details in the front of it. It doesn't make sense, does it? It's almost like they're using that same mountain, they're using that mountain that's in that moon photo as a template. Imagine that. So it goes way back to the Apollo missions that they've used this kind of trickery. Now, here's another shot of the same area, which I've... Um, Enhanced using different filters. And um, I think, again, you can see on the horizon or the base of the, uh, the mound, there's definite structures in the distance. Yeah, right where your cursor is right there, there's actually yeah. something that's yeah. rounded yeah. and goes down and goes up into that mountain. Yeah, and it, yes, it rises up into the mountain. Yeah. And over in this side of the photograph as well, you can see, I'm sorry this is a bit dark here, but there's some shiny objects in the floor here. Um, Chris, when you examine this area, you brought these, these items up a lot stronger than I have. Um, but there's, there's structures all, all, all in this area as well. And, I mean, th this hole here, is this a crater? You can't tell me that's a crater. If it was a crater, it would be huge through the impact, due to the impact. Yeah. Yep. And if it just shot it straight into the ground, you would think there'd be a little bit more, you know, uh, ejecta around it. Yeah. And you would, yes. and you would see your, your meteor sitting in the middle of it. And just to get some idea of the size, I've now got the, uh, the rover buggy in view now. And just in front of it is the hall. And again, I think you can see these these uh, lines of which seem to be in the floor, yeah. running running in a west east or east west direction. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whether you, Chris, you, I don't want whether you want to show a bit more of the photograph that you got. If you could show that part where the uh, it shows the hole. Yeah, this this. You know, this is what people need to understand. A lot of people claim we haven't been to the moon. I, I say, on the contrary, I say there's a whole, mo a whole lot more than what you're seeing. There's so much more to that. And, you know, as soon as people start to get wise to that, i got to see if I even still have this in Photoshop, to be honest with you. Um, let me just check it real quick. Uh, yeah, this was, this was what was called Shorty Crater, and that's what he was just showing you. Okay, here's your color. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back so I can share this so Pete can also see this. Now, when you look at this photo, and you can see the whole thing. I mean, here it is. I mean, this is the original photo now. Nothing screwed around with in Photoshop. Now, let's keep this in mind, guys. This is what? A 70 millimeter Hasselblad cam, which means it's film. It's not digital. So let's keep that in mind while we go into this photo. Okay, here it is in all its glory. Ooh, ah. Uh, first of all, I don't know why the hell this looks like something puked on it. That doesn't even look natural. That's first and foremost. But that's that's the least of what I'm going to show. What I'm going to show you here is that 
a lot of this, see how like this is all, you can just tell this has been completely blurred out. All of this back here, all blurred out. A lot of this has been completely taken out of this photo. Well, I should say blurred over. Um, I think their techniques that they're using here, that they've been using on the moon, have also been carried over to what's going on on Mars. That's a fact. Now, anybody can look at that part of this photo and call that real? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't believe that. None of these here are real. I think they're templates. I think they're being dropped over what's really being hidden there. Now, we don't need to see that. We don't care. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and enhance this. And you'll start to see there's starting to be a little bit of height to this. I'm going to back out so you guys can see an overall. And you can start to see, okay, there's a little bit more. It's not as flat like you see here. See how like it looks almost flat except for what looks like these craters. Okay, let's jump into it. Get a little bit more into this. Computer's running a little slow. Got some, doing some tasks there, so forgive me for that. Um, and let's just keep going along. And the more you enhance this, suddenly, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's some kind of weird arch thing, if you will, right here. And it's being, you can see what it is. Whatever this is, there's something right here. Yep. There's something right here in this picture yep. that has a body to it. <coughs> and what they do is just went like this, went straight blurred right across it. And just, you know, I don't know if you're going to call it a washout tool, call it what you will, but you can see, check this out. You can see the lines in this photo. Clearly, there's something else here. And there's something right here. You can see it. Right there. It's a lot... It has a lot more height to this thing than you can imagine, guys. And that's all there is to it. This is what's really goofy. And you can start to see different things and pieces laying around on the ground here. Now, let's keep going. I'm going to back out, give you guys a better... There's things all lined up in the back here. And like Pete showed, this thing's actually coming off. But the way I did this was to bring out the more... The reason why I did the way I did mine was to bring out this area more. So you really can't, but you can start to see right here. Let's see if I can find it. All in the back here. Check this out. And it looks like something slows down there. I'm not sure what that is, but you can start to see there's, there's pieces laying around here. And yeah. again, there's that weird arch thing. And you can see it going right through this, this whole line of blur or washout, if you will. Let me bring it down to here. And you can see now, look at the, here's the astronaut and the buggy, and suddenly there's some height to these things. From this arch thing down, there's actually height. So this the buggy didn't go over there for a reason. It's it's all there is to it. Now, let's go into black plate. Now, I want to show you guys something I think you'll find pretty wild. Okay. And I can actually change this up a bit. Because this, this gets better. I'm going to go ahead and go to... The cyan. Now check this out. What the hell does that on a mountain? Now, when I seen this, I was like, okay, I'm willing to go with the idea that this is probably compression artifacts or whatever it is. Okay, but compression artifacts around what? What is it around? So now what I did was I tried to do what I can. You can see how this, you got this black areas in the back. I'm okay with that. But then you got this kind of fluff, if you will, like, they just kind of, like, just went, well, just squiggle whatever you can out of this and just take it out. But they didn't take the whole thing out. So I'm now, I'm, 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 I'm puzzled. I'm going, what the hell? Uh, it just keeps going over. But here's the bizarre part. Let's keep going. Keep going. And if you notice, there's white pieces in here. There's dark pieces in there. And you've got this manipulation or kind of, I don't know, what would you call that, Pete? Like an eraser mock, some, some kind of... Like, they just kind of did this all the way along to try to block this shit out. I have no idea, Chris. I've, I mean, you can see it's not... I'm, it's I'm, not stunned, like, I'm stunned by what you've brought out in that photograph. I mean, let's call this compression artifacts, which I don't believe that they are, but let's call them that for argument's sake. These have no structure to them, this stuff right here. It's like it's just like they just try to just scribble it out and missed. Like, they were trying to block out whatever's behind this particular wannabe mountain. And if we keep going, this is where it gets more bizarre, guys. Watch this. Again, you can see these white features, darker features. And you can see this crap all along these atop of these mountains. So-called mountains. Let's keep going. 
it looks to me like the per the like, like the horizon has been purposefully lowered. Yeah. Yep. Well, they it's again. It looks like they tried to take out whatever was sitting there. And you can see, I actually burned this away. Try to burn some of this away. Watch what it looks like. And I think I did it on. See, so you can see where it drops. And guess what? The black pots are now more noticeable. Well, wait a minute. How can you burn through something that's supposed to be in a photo? And even if you could burn through uh, particular mocks, you know, like compression artifacts, that's fine. But check this out. I did it over the black areas as well. And guess what? Nothing. Nothing happened. And yet I could burn through that. Look at the white areas and the black areas. You can actually see more of it. And there's some kind of whiter area here. Now, check this out. Now, this is the black and white. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's go all the way to the right of the photo. Now, keep in mind, this is what? Film? Hmm. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> now, what in God's green earth is that? You don't see that in a normal photo. I don't see it. You can see it there because guess what? We're still in cyan mode. Oh, it's nowhere to be found. How is it possible that this is in a film unless this was taken out? Now, this is in the normal color mode, which would be, and I'll show everybody just to make sure, it's in your CMYK mode. And you can see this thing is clearly there. All I did to this was brought up, well, after I enhanced it, just bring up the, inspo the exposure. And we can still do this. Watch this. Don't do anything to the photo except bring up the ex exposure. Let's see what we find if we find anything here. Okay, I don't care if these are artifacts or not. That doesn't, that doesn't bother me. That does. That's without doing a thing to this photo. I don't know. You tell me. But when you get into this photo, and I've seen this, and I'm going, what the hell is that? It clearly doesn't make sense, guys. And whatever it is that they're blocking out right here is clearly probably way over this mountain. At least that's my thinking. I'm not saying that's what it is, but that would be my... And if you look at it, it looks like it's been digitally taken out on a what? Analog, analog film? Or just a standard uh, film? Doesn't make sense. But... There you go, over these mountains. And you can see the distance from the actual... It looks to me like this is a, a film photograph which has been digitally worked on, on a computer. Yep. There's no way you should be able to see that. No. Now, I went back to the regular photo and then it just went into black and white mode just to see what we can find. And, and I had it... Uh, Enhanced it. And you can see again that arch thing right here. You can see what looks like these things have height to them now. They're not just a flat area. And you can see if you take a close look, you can see things that are rounded. Stuff, stuff that's just laying there. Bits and pieces of stuff coming out of this manipulation. There's actually, where the hell did I see this thing over here? And there's something right here. Now it doesn't look like so much like a crater. It looks like more like a wall. And you've got different pieces laying here. Something right here. Whatever this stuff is, they did a great jo job of trying to hide this. Mm -hmm. And you, you made a great point when you showed your photo. If you, um, you, I don't know if you still got yours. Let me see something here. Uh, see if I can do this again. You had yours. What showed was the mountain, but it actually had a layer of this garbage right over the top. And I said, well, wait a minute. Why would a mountain show two segments... Like it had like this part of the mountain, but then there was a piece above it. Well, that's the piece I found when I enhanced this thing and brought it up. Let me see if I can do this again. When I brought this up, there was a layer of it. I'm going, whoa, what the hell does that? And there you go. What are they trying to hide in this photo? Yeah. And even if we were to believe for a moment that this is, again, artifacts, but usually you don't get artifacts like... Like Dazza showed in, when he debunked a, uh, a, a video about the guy saying, well, here's the moon and the astronaut with the flag, and, and it's supposed to show Earth. That was superimposed on it. And you could see a bunch of artifacts around the, moon, the Earth that shows in the sky. You can actually see, well, but there has to be something there for artifacts to be around it. At least in my opinion. Not always the case, but you know what I'm saying. Um, and yet, you can see where this is not like just simple artifacts, this has been fudged over. 
You can see where they just kind of just went, and, and somehow they didn't get it all out. You can see that looks like a complete mistake. Like they totally screwed up. Yeah, and something. There's something really strange is happening in that in that um, photography there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, come on. You know, a digital photo. I'd say, yeah, that makes sense to me. You know, maybe there was some some information missing out of that particular one, but it just happens to be over this mountain, and you can see these things peeking out at the top. Even when I do this, that you can see these things sticking out. And it's behind this, I'm, I call it like a manipulation fluff, if you will. Like they just try to, again, there's no really, it's not squared off. It's just kind of like they just went like this with a tool and went like that. Let's just scribble it out. And they did it quickly and didn't do it all. That's, that's the only thing I could come to. That's the only thing I can think of. And because these are in black and white, actually, they're actually technically in color. But when you look at the photo, you can't see it. You can just barely, now, If you let me see if we can do it this way. Bring it up just to bring up the exposure. I don't care about the main photo itself. I'm, I want to see the, and you can see it's been, it's been screwed with. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm willing to concede that maybe these are actual artifacts, but what the hell is trying to scribble it out? That's something people need to look into. And this is the reason why I say this, you know, uh, And it's still there. No matter what you do, it's it's in the picture. See it? <laughs> that that rectangular piece is awesome. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason for it. There's just simply no reason for it. I think. Well, there must have been, otherwise it wouldn't be like that. <laughs> exactly right. So when I look at these photos and I see what I'm seeing, it it proves to me that they were actually on the moon. There's no doubt in my mind. But these photos have been screwed with. Yeah. And people will say, well, yeah, they're fake photos. To a certain degree, yes. Because they're covering up. You could just, I mean, how does anybody look at this mountain and go, that's real? And it looks like, it looks like the Mount Shop in a lot of these photos. When you straighten this out, kind of looks like it has that same kind of shape to it. And they just added their own features to it. That's that's basically what it looks like to me uh, when I look at that. Or, oh, Chris, alternatively, maybe they look similar because they're both artificially constructed structures. Right. And it's like, hey, wow, look, there's a butte <laughs> right on the moon. Imagine that. But you can see there's like multiple <laughs> things on, on this on, right in front of this moon buggy. And you notice how it's 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 like sitting almost on a platform here. It's got this weird. It's almost like I'm not saying that's what it is, but it, you can see like these weird things. Just I mean, you can see there's clearly height to these objects. So that's uh -huh. telling me. Furthermore, if, if you ever catch the video of the moon buggy traveling over that area, you can see the way that it bounces, how true yeah. it is to the way of that landscape as we can see it, because it's virtually hitting all the lumps and bouncing them down all over the place. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, maybe the little bits it can go over with no problem. But obviously, it can't run through a pot of a structure or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But these photos need to be questioned. You know, a lot of people claim, like I said, we can't go past Earth's orbit, which is bullshit. Just look at the technical stuff that these people got. Look up any random things. Look at um, any space uh, uh, agency's site. Look at their building, for crying out loud. Why would they go through the millions and millions and millions of dollars to build these things? They go, oh, we're just going to fake the public. It doesn't matter. We'll just, we'll just build these to take all the money out of the country out of the out of the people's mouths, and we'll build billions of dollars worth of these uh, this equipment. And get the shit out there in space, wherever it's going, whether it be uh, the moon, Mars, whatever it is. Eh, just to fake it. Let's just put a big hoax up for no reason. I don't see the logic in it, other than making the country or any country uh, around because they're stealing money out of the out of the people. If that's if that's the truth, then what's the point? What's the whole point to get more funding? They can get the funding anytime they want it. Mm. I think it was in 2001, there was $8 trillion missing out of ours, and it was part of the deficit, and suddenly nobody can account for $8 trillion in 2001. Hmm. Maybe somebody went and took went to the candy store with it. Come on, man. I mean... Well, I mean, what, what's $8 trillion now, Chris? Because isn't, isn't the global debt now in the zillions of dollars? Well, if you go global debt, yeah. I mean, so, who knows? I mean, but people need to stop really looking at these photos, whether it be Apollo ones like we showed you earlier, the ones with the astronauts on them. Um, 
you got to question these photos. There's a reason why, again, they're using the same techniques. They're making it look flat. They're washing out the photo to make it no detail, 2D kind of thing. They got this fake butte. Well, it looks like a butte to me on, on the moon. It doesn't look like a standard mountain, but I'm not a geologist. Um, but when you look at this thing, you just go, what the? F how? That doesn't even look real for crying out loud. So people go, well, then it's fake. We haven't been on the moon. No, no. They're hiding things that are there. That's the point. Mm -hmm. And I think people need to start to wake up to that and start analyzing. They're doing the same things way back when to the Apollo fo photos, to which they're actually doing now, but they've gotten better at it, doing it on the Martian photos. So, you know, when when people start to open their eyes, they're going to see this this crap. That's all there is to it. It's plain and simple as that. And I hope people really start to analyze these photos. Uh, don't take our word for it. In fact, let it go in one ear and out the other. Do your own homework. You're going to find this. And that goes to anybody. Anybody who's asked me questions, whether it be Daza. Um, there's another guy on there. Uh, crap, what was his name? Uh, he claims it's like a... He, he believes it's not going to be a flat earth society or something like that. He's, he's claiming like all the photos of BS about the moon. Uh, no, they're, they're faked, but not entirely faked. They've been manipulated over. They've been layered. And I think they've been doing this since day one. And they've just gotten a lot better at it. And this is the reason why we're seeing these photos that are layered on uh, these layered photos or Z-stacked photos that we're seeing from Mars. So, um, so yeah, just analyze it, guys. But one way or the other, we were going to get the information out for you guys. I know it's getting late for Pete, so you know I don't want him to pass out in the chair and fall over. Um, <laughs> because even me, it's it's nine eleven here, and we I don't know about you, man. I woke up and I feel like I got my ass kicked because I didn't go go to bed till twelve thirty in the morning, and um, you know, and then and you've been up all day for crying out loud, and up to this point. So you know, and I was just totally fritzed out of my mind. I wanted to throw the computer out the window, but it's not the computer's fault. It was whatever was trying to obstruct our connection. Yeah. They did a pretty yeah. good damn job of it, I might yeah. add. But yeah. that's okay. One way or the other, guys, we'll get this out. And this is the reason why we said, you know what? We owe it to the people. We wanted to do this. So our apologies again. Um, you know, it is what it is. You're at the mercy of technology. What are you going to do? So any uh, last words you want to add, Pete? I mean, as far as like anything to, and people need to look at or um, you want to add to people, the naysayers, whether it be, no, oh, we're not on... You know, you guys are using Photoshop to manipulate or we're not on the moon or whatever. Uh, look, uh, now I, uh, I don't, I am convinced that we're, we've been, we've been to the moon. I'm convinced the moon photographs are legitimate photographs from the moon. Same with the photography from Mars. It's just been, it's just been subjected to a great deal of manipulation because, um, it goes against what established thinking is with regard to the populations of our galaxy, our solar system. I think. Yep. I, I think I think our science has found out that we're not the only um, civilization living in this solar system. Yep. And uh, in inevitably, when when our neighbors decide that they want to be in touch with us, they'll they'll let us know that they're there. And until then, yeah. it seems as though they don't want very much to do with us. Well, the other funny thing is, too, is that you got people, you know, seeing things traversing the moon, the face of the moon, or in between the moon and ourselves. Yeah. yeah. They see things all over the world. It's like, why do people automatically assume that it's out of our solar system? Yeah. That's their assumption. Now, uh, uh, Billy, Coach Billy just did a uh, 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 lengthy uh, video on... Uh, with uh, one of the guys, Thomas, um, and he said that this, uh, at one time, this might have been a binary uh, star uh, solar system. Our solar system was binary star. Think about this a minute. If our other star died out and just came like a, uh, I don't know what they would call it, uh, it's just a dead star now, um, and if it was on the outside of our solar system, then all of these planets could have been much, much more like Earth at one point. If it was a binary star. Now, it would have been heating heating all of the outer planets, just like we're heating, uh, you know, every, every planet that's closest to, you know, uh, the sun is nice and warm and toasty and in the Goldilocks zone. Mm. So if there was a binary star, guess what? <laughs> and people are going, how can any structures be on Pluto? Well, I don't know. It might have been a warmer planet back then, or they just readapted or did whatever. Yeah. That, again, yeah. it's all speculation yeah. and conjecture, but that's not the point. It's a very good possibility if there is... That's a big if. If it was, if we were at one point a binary star uh, solar system, to me that just makes sense. 
So. No, Chris, and uh, I'd like to thank you for the uh, technical uh, assistance that you've given to enable this to come about, and um, it's been enjoyable doing the video. Um, shame we couldn't get the Google Plus. It seems oh, like okay. uh, it seems like our Google Plus communication's been completely broken down at the moment. Yeah, well, we're going to try to figure that out too. We're going to do it like um, we're not going to do it live. We'll try to do it like a one-on-one, -on -one like we try to do uh, last night. And we're going to try to figure out what's going on because I'd rather use the, the, the Google Plus Hangout if we can. It just seems to be a better quality yeah. as opposed to Skype. And I, I don't like the idea of having it. I mean, this is good. This conveys, but it's it's not clear. And that's the problem. I don't like it, but they'll get the photos. Yeah. And they'll just be up on the Google Plus. That's all. We'll just give us time, guys, to put them all up there because we got to gather these links together from the Mars photos. Um, I've got the photos from the moon I want to also share with you guys. So... You know, just look for those, and uh, we'll make sure you guys get them. And you'll see it a lot clearer. We'll make sure the, the finished product, meaning the enhancements, is what you'll get so that you guys can, uh, you know, observe these things for yourself and check them out because it'll be better quality as far as I'm concerned. So yeah. anyway, that, I don't think we got any more closing arguments. Uh, I appreciate you getting on there as well. I know it's late for you, Pete, so I do appreciate it uh, big time. Um, and we will definitely do it again because we got – I mean, it just goes on, guys. I mean, it's not – it's not just uh, centralized to one manipulation. There's so much more of it going on. And again, I don't believe that these are totally faked. We are all of these photos that you're seeing, whether it's on the moon or Mars, is based on an actual photo. But again, they're being laid uh, overlaid with manipulations, obfuscations, and that's just the way they roll, man. That's just the way they are. Yeah. And by cutting through this shit, this is what you're finding, despite what anybody else thinks. Um, you know, the, the naysayers, that's fine. You're, you're more than welcome to your opinion. I, I respect that. But just do your own research before you start to say, well, you guys are wrong. Now, if you do find this wrong and you have a legitimate uh, argument about it, you know, please put it forth. I'm willing to analyze it. I'm not this kind of person who said, no, this is the way it is and that's the way it goes. It's my way or the highway. No. If you bring me new information and I study it and, and it absolutely looks true, and it is backed factually, then yeah, I'll, I'll definitely analyze it. You know, I'm not one of these people that just say, well, no, I'm not going to listen to your point of view. I don't, I don't care about. No, I'm not going to do that. That's just not the way I am. New, new information or evidence arises. I'll add it. Um, I've always said that about people who challenge me about, you know, flat Earth. I'm willing to listen to it, um, but don't show me videos. I don't want to hear videos. I'm, I'm not interested in seeing videos. I'm interested in seeing um, the. Uh, well, if I click that, it's gonna it's gonna actually uh, show it on the screen. So I don't know what it is. Um, but you know, like I said, guys, it comes right down to do your own homework, do your own research, and you'll find the truth. And I've always said that in all my videos. You don't have to believe a thing I say. Check the stuff out for yourself. That's pretty much it. Yeah, good one, Chris. All well, right, in closing, I've, I've sent you. Um, uh, I. <laughs> I'll send you the photograph if you need it, but um, oh yeah, maybe I will do that. Would you like that? That that link I've just sent you, not link. That's the actual photograph that I used in this um, video. I'll, I'll send yeah. you. I'll send you the actual picture, and then you can post that. But that's the only one that you need from me. Well, you need to have. We need to have both of those links because you sent, the the first one I showed about the rover. I need a link to that one, and I need a link to the one you had. And if you've got uh, the enhanced photos of the rover where it shows transparency, you can you can shoot me those too. Um, I haven't actually made any. All I've done is examine the photograph. Well, I mean, just go ahead and do it. So the, for the people who couldn't follow along with the steps, even if you just go, okay, you know, I'll put it in certain plating and then do your levels and then show me that, that final one where they can actually see the transparency, we'll just go ahead and use that. And, and the two links from the two photos, the, the two rover photos, and that's all I need is the actual uh, NASA links. And I'll post those so people can check them out. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with my finished product as far as my um, couple photos of when I enhanced it, as well as the moon photos. So cool. you'll get those as well. Okay, I'll, I'll send you those tomorrow when I get, when I'm Oh, yeah, it's late for you. So I don't blame you. Just go ahead and get some sleep. And, uh, yeah, when you get a chance, just toss them to me, and I'll uh, 
because like I said, it'll be a little bit of time before I can gather all these myself. Uh, I'm going to have a busy day here myself. So yeah. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for joining us. I do appreciate it. And thanks to Pete, as always. Uh, he always finds the time. We're 15 hours apart, so we try to find a sweet spot if we can. And I just don't want him to slip into a coma while we're on <laughs> while we're on the um, on the uh, the any kind of whether it be Skyping or Google Plus. So uh, kudos to you, uh, Pete. But thanks for the information. It's always a pleasure. You know, when you share the technical parts of the photos, people need to see this and understand a little bit better. Not just going, hey, uh, uh, how can you prove that these are photo these are faked with uh, Photoshop? Ah, nonsense. It can be easily sh- seen. You don't even have to enhance them. <laughs> it's, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. But anyway, enough of that. Anyway, guys, thanks for, sh- thanks for watching. And uh, leave your comments down below. Share the video as always. You guys know that. Get the information out. And we'll see you guys in the next uh, video.